Well, good afternoon, everybody. Just a quick update. I'm still in West Palm Beach, and the reason why I haven't left is, um, well, looking for a good weather window to get um, up to, let's say, New York, or you know, maybe just underneath of New York. So basically, sailing the Gulf Stream. But uh, wow, there's no good two or three day solid windows to. to accomplish that you know one day you'll get uh, either too much wind the wind will be in the wrong direction or there'll be the wind will change in, in the direction so just not um, uh, the weather's just not cooperating and then of course um, I guess I could um, go up the ICW which is an inland waterway um, however, there's so much bridges and so much current either going the right direction or the wrong direction. And, um, and then there's a combination of going offshore and ICW. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but the problem with that is um, trying to time the uh, inlets. So there's a lot of current going in and out of the inlets. So you've got um, wind and currents and when they're opposing each other, you can uh, get some nasty waves and if it's uh, a serious wind opposing a serious current um, you could potentially um, sink your boat <laughs> um, um, capsize it in the inlet um, so yeah I don't really want to do that so yeah just waiting for um, better weather windows trying to get further north um, as far as the weather, yesterday it was there was some kind of cold front that ripped by a lot of wind from the north and uh, it really cooled off. I mean, it was 24, maybe 25 Celsius and that felt cool to me um, being exposed to a lot of warmer weather. Uh, it might have been cooler at some points, but it really was chilly. Um, um, I guess just... I'm climatized more for the Caribbean and um, um, southern Florida temperatures. It was blowing pretty good. So uh, today it's more uh, seasonal weather. And some good news about West Palm Beach is the uh, public docks are now open. And they've actually got some services um, um, at the docks. Like you can rent um, one of those jet skis. Um, in West West Palm Beach now so and it's nice that uh, the docks are open because it's uh, you know 25 minute walk to um, the grocery store um, with that dock open if, if the docks not open and um, the city workers around there not letting you pass <clears throat> and you're looking at a 45 minute walk so yeah so it's nice to have those docks open the only thing um, I got to check on now is if the um, the marina, just the closest marina here, if if they're pumping fuel. I mean, I can go inshore and get fuel, but if they're pumping fuel, you can usually get water, and so that's the uh, the other thing is you want to be able to get uh, fresh water. I did make some um, some water with my water maker in in Lake Worth maybe a week ago, but it was. The amount of filters I went through, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, the pre-filters, so I think they're 5 micron and that would last maybe 45 minutes or half an hour, 45 minutes before it would start getting clogged up. Yeah, so that's what's happening in West Palm Beach. Um, I, well, luckily what's um, been I've been surviving on here is um, I've got TV. So I can watch broadcasts, live broadcasts through an antenna. And then I've got um, internet through a cell phone. Um, and two years ago, I used to be able to get, get a non-limited data plan for, let's say, 60 bucks US. And it would allow you to share your um, um, Wi-Fi with your other devices that you have. So if you got a, you can basically turn your um, cell phone into an access point and then share it with your laptop, share it with your television, stream Netflix. Uh, but something new that they've been doing in the States is they've been capping you at one gig or five gig or 20 gig. 
so it's not unlimited um, hotspot on your cell phone. So that's uh, that's too bad. But I found a, a workaround for that. There's some software that you can buy that uh, bypasses that. And so now I figured out how to do it. And uh, at least my my laptop has got unlimited internet, so I'm not even using my shared um, hotspot on my cell phone anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, luckily I've got, um, you know, entertainment on the boat. I can watch Netflix either on my laptop or even my cell phone is um, entertaining. And, of course, I've been keeping up with the, uh, the Trump show on CNN and all latest breaking news, what's happening there. I've actually come to the conclusion that um, I don't ever think that this um, COVID-19 virus will ever disappear. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, never. Because if you think um, about what's happened just in the States, trying to just get people tested, can't even get enough people tested. Um, so if you think that people are going to get the um, a shot, um, a vaccine shot, it would, I think what's there, 300, and, let's say 330 million people here, um, that would be a million people a day. I mean, if they can't even do a te to test the people right now, and they're unwilling to do it, I don't think they're going to be able to vaccinate all the people in the States, let alone all the crazies that just don't want to go for a vaccine shot. So that's the States alone. So if you can't get people to um, you know, eradicate the diseases from each country, and then it's just going to keep spreading. It'd just take one person to get it moving through. So it'd be lucky if half the people in the states are vaccinated within the next five years. Is that going to be enough? Maybe that'll be enough to tamp it down to a small minimum to keep it like a flu like um, um, death rate let alone uh, 60 or 70,000 um, people that, that have died from it uh, in the States already. And the last thing is, even if the vaccine, even if they do come up with a vaccine, which nobody really knows. I mean, they haven't found a vaccine for AIDS yet. And that, you know, AIDS has been around since the 80s. If they do have a vaccine trying to get it scaled up so we can all get a vaccine shot if we so um, desire one two or three years maybe we'll be able to get a, a vaccine shot so I'm not sweating it um, just uh, do my social distancing wearing a mask when I'm in um, an enclosed space like a grocery store bank or corner store and uh, unfortunately you just can't hang out with people um, and, you know, I suppose you could stay six feet away from a person, but it's not like you're going to have them over to your house or your boat or whatever. Uh, it's just not a safe thing. So I think that's a sad state of affairs.